Now to news from Hartford. It was a hot summer-like day for the fifth annual Lung Force Walk earlier today. Dozens of cancer fighters as well as survivors, along with their families, walking to raise money at the Great River Park. Channel 3 Amateurs News reporter Christian Colon was there. He has the story. With pom-poms in hand, today was about walking and supporting their loved ones. Through the Great River Park, about 100 people walked a mile and a half to raise money for research on lung cancer and lung diseases. I was diagnosed in January 2016, literally three months after I retired, um, and they thought I had pneumonia, but they found, shortly found out that I had um, stage four lung cancer. For Marie, this walk is personal since she's currently going through treatment, but she's not fighting this battle alone. Her grandson, along with her family, are the sidekicks. Really fun, very hot, but I, I think it was for a good cause and I, I would do it five times more. Marie's team is called Ma's team. Ma is what Cole calls her. This one, along with about 16 other teams, finally got together today for an in-person walk after last year's was done virtually because of COVID. It's been hard to um, be apart from everybody in this community. Um, I know we did a virtual walk and it was great, but to be together is really um, so uplifting. Despite COVID, the American Lung Association surpassed their goal of $25,000, and now those funds will go towards smoking cessation programs and asthma management, among others. But as Douglas Clark tells us, who has been fighting cancer for the past five years, prevention is a possibility. Don't smoke, don't vape, um, take care of yourself, um, watch radon. Um, radon is maybe what had caused it me. Um, even if you've had your house or apartment checked, check it every th three years. To learn more about donating or taking part in future events, head to lungforce.org. Just get up every morning, take the pill, and stay positive. That's the most important thing. Christian Colon, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.